Xamarin Essentials is exactly that. It's all kinds of essentials that you want to use for your Xamarin application and not just Xamarin, also usable for Xamarin forms. In this video, we're going to learn about the file picker that has just been implemented into Xamarin Essentials, a preview version, but I'm going to show you already how to use it and you'll know how to pick files. Let's find out. As always, we're just going to start with a file new Xamarin Forms application. Uh, you can see that here running from Visual Studio for Mac. Um, the only thing I did already install is actually Xamarin Essentials. So um, let's quickly have a look at that. I'm opening the solution, right clicking on the solution and click Manage NuGet Packages. And here you can see in the installed, I've installed Xamarin Essentials. Actually, it is already installed with the default templates. Um, but what you want to make sure at the time of recording um, is that you have installed 1.6 pre-1. So if you want to use pre-release packages, make sure that you have the check um, in Visual Studio for Mac. It's on the uh, lower left side to uh, check the box for show pre-release packages. Um, because this package contains some preview bits uh, for the file picker. So some things might change, but I'm pretty confident that um, it will remain the same mostly. So whenever 1.6 is out, you no longer need the pre-release, but for now uh, we do. So whenever you're watching this um, and you can't find this functionality, make sure that you're using the right version. Okay, so with that out of the way, um, let's just um, stop this one for a second. And we're going to make some changes here. So welcome to Xamarin Forms. This is going to be our file picker demo right here. And let's see, I'm going to remove all of these labels right here. And what I'm going to do is just add a button with the text of uh, pick image. So I'm going to use this with images for now. Um, you can pick other uh, types of files as well. I'm going to show that as well, but I think images is probably a, a common use case. So I'll start with that one. And we're going to implement the event handler for that. And in fact, let's close this one. And I'm also going to add an image so we can actually show the image. So I'm going to add a name to that and I'm going to name this result image so we can view the actual image that it has been picked. So there we go, um, save that and let's get into our code behind. I'm going to do this by um, holding the command button and clicking on the button clicked here that brings us to the definition of this thing. And um, what we're going to do here is um, implement the functionality of essentials to um, pick an actual image. So to do that with essentials, they've implemented a thing called file picker. Uh, it doesn't know that right now, but the IntelliSense should pick up that it should be using Xamarin Essentials. So let's do that. And the file picker has a, a method that is called pick async. And we also have pick multiple async. Uh, we'll see that in a little bit as well. Let's start with the single file first. And that method takes a optional uh, pick options. So, but let's uh, actually use that. So we're going to look at the pick options. And that lets you customize a little bit uh, the things that you can pick and the title of the actual picker. Uh, so this has the file types. So we can set the file types right here and should know um, what type is this. It's the file picker file type, file picker file type dot images. See, so we have images, we have videos, and we also have um, a separate thing for PNGs for some reason. Uh, but let's go with the images for now. And you can also set the picker title um, and you can set that to any string value. So pick an image. That will be the title of the um, image picker uh, screen whenever that's supported on the platform and the thing that you're using to uh, pick a file. Um, of course, we want to catch this in a variable. Uh, also, it's async, so we need to await it. So I'm going to just uh, call this var pick result and we add an await. Of course, if we're using an await, we should also do um, async. So of course, normally you wouldn't want to have async void methods. Uh, there are lots of resources on that. So uh, go find out why that is the case. But um, for this case, I think we're okay. Um, my excuse is that this is a sample app. So um, don't do this at home. Um, so we've got our pick result right here. And let's now see, um, you should include a check if the result not is null. Uh, sorry, pick result in this case. 
because if it's null, then things are going to crash. And also if it's null, um, I think it mentions that here in the IntelliSense, uh, the picking was canceled by the user. So you should always check if it's not canceled by the user. Um, and if it's not, then we can um, get the stream from this. So actually the result has a couple of things. Um, so let's name this stream pick result and you can get the content type you can get the file name you can get the full path to the um, uh, to the actual file on the file system so that's pretty cool and the open read async so again this is async so we should await this um, but this gives us the stream to the actual file and that's what we're going to use here because you know uh, the file system things can be kind of hard with the paths that are um, um, available or not on the platform that you're running on. So let's go for um, the stream for now. And we're going to set the result image. That was our image um, object on the XAML page, if you remember. And we can set the uh, image source, oops, the, it's just the source, to image source dot from stream, here we go. And this takes a function, so we need to put this in here uh, and just do the stream. There we go. So this should be enough to uh, pick an image and actually show that image through um, the image uh, object on our XAML page. So the one thing you should do, at least for Android, so this is the file picker is supported on many platforms. It's supported on iOS, Android, uh, but also UWP, macOS, and Tizen. So I'm not entirely sure. Check the documentation and the readme um, if there are permissions needed on other platforms. I know for iOS, you don't need any uh, extra permissions. It will just open the files app and let you pick from that. On Android, it's probably a good idea to go into your Android project and then the properties and your Android manifest. Uh, this brings up the visual editor for um, at least Visual Studio for Mac. Uh, but And you want to add the read external storage. Uh, maybe also the write external storage. I'm not entirely sure because the uh, permissions on Android are not always that great. Um, so you might also need write external storage. I'm not entirely sure about that one. Uh, make sure that you know if it's the right one because you don't want to add too many permissions on your app, but you want at least to have the read external storage. So now that we've set that, we can close this one and I'm going to run this on the emulator and see what it does. Here you go, here's our app, file picker demo, and I'm going to click the pick image. So the um, actual file system um, viewer or whatever you'd like to call it, the file explorer on Android comes up. Um, it brings me to the downloads folder and there's nothing there. So um, let's see, here is images and um, pictures, images on this phone. So it doesn't give me the thumbnails for some reason. I think that's something on my emulator, but it does in fact work. So um, let's just see. And if I click and hold this one, uh, you can normally select multiple. So we'll see that in a little bit, but now it's just restricted to one. Uh, so I'm just selecting this one and it's, oh, it subscribed to my channel. Well, isn't that convenient? A reminder to re subscribe to my channel. So if you haven't done that, please take a moment to do that now. Um, so this is how we pick an image and we just show it in the image. That's pretty cool. Uh, now, how do we go about if we pick multiple images? So let's just stop this one for a minute. And I'm going to um, copy this button actually. Here we go, and I'm going to make this the fantastic name of button one clicked. Um, it will generate that in the background for me. And I'm going to name this pick images, there we go. Um, now what I'm going to do here is add a collection view, and I'm going to give that collection view a name so I can reference it from the uh, code behind. So let's name this collection view, there we go. And what I want to do is the collection view uh, dot item template, so I want the items in here to have a, a template and that has to be of a data template. And so each item in this collection view is going to have this template and I'm going to use a little bit of data binding here. Um, so in here, I'm going to do a, another image. Um, I don't need to name this one because that's not going to work with templating. Um, but what I'm going to do is set the source to binding um, dot, which is the actual item that is uh, going to bind to. If you want to know more about data binding, please find the link that's appearing on your screen right now. Um, and you can find out more there. If there's anything unclear about MVVM or data binding, please let me know in the comments. And I'm happy to make a video uh, for you about that.
So with this in place, let's go to the button one clicked. Again, command and click brings us here. And what I'm going to do now is again at the async here. Uh, and this time, uh, again, basically I can just copy and paste this one. Um, but from there, it has to change a little bit. So this is still going to be the pick result, but I'm now going to do uh, the pick multiple async. Um, it still takes pick options. Um, and here I can say pick images now. Um, but the only thing that's going to be different is if we inspect the type of this pick result, it's going to be an I enumerable. So this is going to be different where this was just one result. Um, this is going to be multiple. And what I'm now going to do is again check, um, I'm assuming that this also will be null if the user didn't pick anything. So we're going to check again if the pick result not is no, there we go, else we're just going to skip it. Um, if not, I'm going to create a image list, uh, which is a list, oh, we don't have that here yet, of image source actually. Let's just put image sources in here. Um, of course, this is not the one way to do it. This is just the way I'm uh, doing it. So uh, to make clear to you uh, how to use this file picker thing. Um, you can also get the streams or get the file paths from the results, um, it doesn't matter. And now I'm just going to for each through um, each image in the pick result. And I'm going to uh, create a stream again from that. Uh, so the thing with these streams, also note um, that you want to clean up, uh, you, you typically probably don't want to use streams this way because you have to clean up the streams, um, else you'll get a memory leak and your app will be using a lot of memory with all the streams that are not being cleaned up. Um, but for the sake of this um, sample, it will work fine. And whoops, we're good. No, this does not have to be pick result, this is going to be image. Uh, dot open read async there we go so what we can now do is image list dot add um, again image source so the code is very similar from um, the thing that we saw above you can basically copy and paste some things but now you just have to uh, loop through them and the thing that I want to do uh, lastly is uh, in this collection view that we've created earlier uh, collection views, why am I not seeing this? Did it automatically capitalize? No, it did not. So why don't I see the collection view here? Is that because of the IntelliSense? Item source is, um, and I'm going to bind the image list to that. Now, why isn't my collection view not doing anything? That's interesting. Maybe because I didn't save this. Well, let's, yeah, there, there we go. I needed to save it and now it picks up on my collection view thing. Um, so actually then I'm ready to run this because now the item source uh, will be set to the uh, list of the images that I picked. So I should be able to now pick multiples here. Um, just click and hold and two and three, there we go. And click select and you can see it picks up all the images and puts them in my collection view so I can scroll through them. Of course, you could also upload these files or do um, other things, I don't know, um, anything you want to do with these images, um, you can. Now, one last thing I quickly want to show you is um, pick other types of files. So I'm going to actually copy and paste some code for that. So let's just take this first uh, button to pick a single image. And here we have a little bit of code, let me uncomment this, um, which allows you to pick PDF files. So the way this is set up, you're going to create a new file picker file type, which takes a dictionary of device platform, which is also a essentials API and a I enumerable of string. Um, so that way you can uh, specify per platform because per platform you have to specify in a different way um, which files to go look for. So for iOS, for example, you have this reverse domain name kind of thing, com, Adobe, PDF. Uh, for Android, it has to be the MIME type. For UWP, it needs to be the extension um, and same for macOS. So it's all kind of different how you need to do this. So that's the way that they implemented this uh, to make it easier for you. Um, and then and the other thing we need to do is not make um, this file types, but we want to make the file types the custom thing that we did here. Um, so custom file type, there we go, uh, and add a comma. And if I now stop and run this again, um, it will actually show me the other files, at least for Android. Uh, on, on other platforms, it may behave a little bit differently. Uh, but if we now do the pick image, 
and we go to the um, actual image folder again. So you can still see them, but you can see that they're um, a little bit faded. So I can't, I can't actually pick these. I'm clicking on them, but um, I can't pick them. Uh, but if I go to my downloads where I have an actual PDF uh, file, um, I am able to select this one. So it's not going to show, obviously, because um, yeah, it doesn't have a preview for PDF files. Uh, but it allows me to um, actually open a PDF file. So uh, you know what, let's do this again get the PDF and I have a breakpoint here and I can see in the pick result um, that uh, we have a file base and it has a content type of application PDF. We have the file name, which is new project four, and we have the full path, uh, which is some kind of lengthy um, Android path where the file is actually saved. So um, this works pretty cool, pretty awesome stuff. And now you've learned how to pick files with Xamarin Forms and Xamarin Essentials. Like I've already mentioned, this is supported on UWP, Tizen, macOS, Android, iOS. You can pick all the files on all the platforms. That is pretty wild. You can, as always, find the uh, sample app on my repository, on my GitHub. Um, please let me know if you need anything else in the comments. Um, how did you like this video? Do you need something else? I'm planning to go through all the Essentials API, so we're going to see a lot more of these. Um, please like. Please subscribe, um, touch that little bell if you want to be notified of new content automatically without searching for it. Um, and I'll hopefully see you for my next video.